let's talk about Calendly offline conversion tracking for Google Ads. So this is just a quick little video, not like a fancy thing where I edit and such. I just found a solution to how to do Calendly offline conversion tracking for Google Ads. So I'm kind of going to describe how that would work. If this is something that you need, you can get in touch with me via my website and hire me to handle Calendly offline conversion tracking for you. But I'm going to kind of describe uh, what I found and how I finally figure out that this is possible. So online conversion tracking is when you have Nike, Air Jordans or whatever. And when the conversion happens, you know the conversion value and you know that the conversion is a real actual conversion. It's not a higher funnel. You know, maybe they got in touch and maybe they would be interested. No, online conversion tracking is we sold something, we got what we wanted. But offline conversion tracking is a little bit different. Offline conversion tracking, for example, could be someone booking via Calendly a meeting with me. And maybe I, you know, three weeks later, I'm able to sell them a $20,000 web design redesign project. And maybe some of them convert, some of them do not. But this is just like a first step uh, where I get a lead that perhaps later converts in the offline world, in the real world, uh, in a, you know, like a meeting or something. And I would, you know, send them an invoice or something. And of course, calendar or anything has no idea what's going to happen two weeks later and if there are invoices sent via another platform. So offline conversion tracking works by this Google click ID. So when I click on this ad for the for the Nike Air Jordans, we can see there is a all right, there it is. There is a Google click ID here added to the URL. Uh, so in the URL, there is a specific ID that's gonna tie the specific click into Google ad campaign, Google ad, etc. So here, the Google click ID is stored as a cookie. And when I purchase Air Jordans, then uh, it's gonna know which campaign brought me into the website. So we could get the Google click ID and add it to the Calendly. Um, that's how this is usually done for other platforms. However, the problem with Calendly is that although we can add these custom fields into Calendly, we are not able to hide them from the user. So this would be okay, but this is simply too weird. They're gonna be like, what the hell is this? And they're gonna feel like, oh, I don't know, should I do something with this? And you're gonna need some instructions here. Like ignore this, it's not professional. And they're gonna feel like they're being tracked and all that stuff. It's just not good enough. But there is another option. So what we can do is when we generate the iframe, we can uh, store the Google click ID in local storage in the browser and add it to one of the UTM parameters. So we can use these five UTM parameters, the source, medium, term, etc., as kind of a workaround to store our Google click ID. So now let's say I use it as a UTM source, for example. And now I'm going to go to make.com where I have this demonstration. I'm going to activate my automation and then book a meeting here. Then I'm going to schedule and I'm going to take a look at make.com. And here, when we see what data we get, so I'm pre pretty sure zapier.com would get the same exact thing. When we go to tracking, we can see UTM source. I would probably use 
um, something different like UTM term. Oh yeah, I had to pause for a moment. So we we can uh, populate this. So I would probably use one of the others. I'm actually curious if we can use this one because this would be an even better uh, extra option. But we can now use this, populate our Google Sheet, our CRM, or just make an automation in Make with you know whatever we like, Notion. I think Google Sheets are probably uh, the easiest one to start, do like a semi-manual setup, and then automate if you get a lot of these. But yes, uh, the way you would do this is that you will create a an iframe dynamically. So this is something you would pay me and hire me to do this for you. So the way this would work is that we add one script that's going to store <coughs> the Google Click ID <coughs> in local storage. That would be above here. Then we would have this uh, div. And then we would have a second script tag that's going to uh, grab the Google Click ID and modify this URL data URL parameter to include our custom parameters. So pre-populate the Google Click ID into the UTM field here. And then we would run our script that's going to turn the uh, div into a working iframe with all these features. So this uh, I may make a product for this for this like a uh, uh, thing that you can just download and copy paste. Until then, you would need to hire me or if you're a developer, you can just uh, add, add the script above, which is going to grab the Google Click ID, store it on local storage, and then below this, check for any uh, Calendly divs and uh, modify the URL by pre-populating the Google Click ID from the local storage, and then this script is going to turn it into a functional one. All right, so I tested, and we actually can use the Salesforce uh, UID, whatever this thing, assuming that we're not actually using Salesforce, because then it would mess things up. But <coughs> if we do not use Salesforce, then there is absolutely no, you know, downside that I would know of to using this. Uh, maybe it's best to make sure, but like 99% sure uh, that there are no problems, just in case you want to use the UTMs uh, for their actual purpose. Although you rarely use all five, so using something like term or content, uh, even if you would use this, then having one of these be the Google Click ID would work very well also. But I think this would be kind of nice and clean, uh, even prettier workaround. All right, so quick little instructional thing, not a full tutorial you could follow step by step, but it, you know, explains the principle, the issue, the solution, and like I mentioned, do get in touch if you need a professional to handle this for you. It won't take a very long. Okay, thank you for watching.